Hey guys, remember on our previous video we looked at the approximate estimating, how we find the approximate cost of a project, and we looked at the several methods, that is the functional unit, the, cub the cubic method, the supervisional, and then we looked at the story enclosure method and the approximate quantities method. These, we say these are methods that help us determine the cost of a project even before you decide on undertaking that project. So today we are going to look at an example on how to find how to determine the cost of a, uh, an office floor whose external dimensions are 30 by 12 meters with five floors, one basement floor with a height of four meters and four upper floors of story height three meters, given that the story enclosure cost per meter square is 15,000 and the thickness of the wall is 250 millimeters. So that is what we've been given. And now let's look at the plan and then later we see how to go about the, the calculation. So before we look at the plan, the story enclosure method is it works with the weighting factors. So these are the weighting factors with for the roofs, we have the weighting factor of one. Superstructures, that is the walls, it, it has a weighting factor of one. The basement walls, two. And then when we come for, to the floors, we have three. Ground floors, we have two. And then other subsequent floors are multiplied by a factor of two plus 15% per each floor area. For example, if the first floor you have if we have the first floor, then it will be two. It will be two, then plus 15%, that gives us 2.15. Then the second floor will be that, this 2.15 now, plus 15% of it, that is 3.02. So this is the weighting factor of the second floor, and this is the weighting factor of the, of the first floor. Now, this is our plan. This is how the plan looks like. We have the length here, and then we have the width, and we've been given the thickness of the, of the, of the wall, 0 0.25. And then we have basement, which has a height of 4 meters. We have the ground floor, 3 meters. The, the other floors, they have the same height. That is each floor, the first floor, the second and the third, they have the same height of 3 meters. And then we have the eaves at the roof, which is 400 millimeters. Now let's find the, the areas. We, as you can see, we have the element, we have the area, and then we have the weighting factor and then we have the total story area in square meters. So we are going to start with the basement. Under basement, we have the floor and then we have the walls. For the floors, we are using the internal area. For us to get the internal area, it's the external area, which has a length of 30.0 and a width of 12.0. We minus the thickness, which we are told is 250 millimeters. So it's 250 times two for us to get the internal length that is 500 so it will be 30.0 minus 500 and on the width it will be 12.0 minus 500 so we have 29.5 times 11.5 which gives us 339.25 and then we have a weighting factor of three so when we multiply three by 339.25 we get 1017.75 Let's go to the walls and a basement still. For the walls, we are just for going to find the perimeter, the external perimeter. Perimeter is length times width. We multiply by two. And then the height of that basement is four, which gives us 336. Our weighting factor is two. Therefore, when we multiply two by 336, we have 672. We proceed to the superstructure walls. Still, we find the internal perimeter, that is 30.0 plus 12.0 times 2. And then the height of the superstructure wall is 3 meters high. That gives us 254. But we have four number of floors. So it's 254 times the number of floors, that is 4, which gives us 1,000. 
and eight. The weighting factor is one. So when we multiply a thousand and eight times one, it gives us a thousand and eight. We go to the floors. Under the floors, we have the ground floor. I start with the ground floor. For the floors, we are using the internal internal area we find the internal area so it's 29.5 times 11.5 that gives us 339.5 and then the weighting factor is 2 so the area will be 2 times the the total area will be 2 times the area which is 339.5 which gives us 678.50 we proceed to the first floor we have 29.5 steel times 11.5, which gives us 339.5. Our weighting factor now will be 2 plus 15%. That gives us 2.15. So it will be 2.15 times 339.5. We get 729.39. We proceed to the third floor. We're still using the internal dimension so we find the internal area 29.5 times 11.5 which gives us 339.5 our weighting factor now here becomes 2.15 this one here plus 15 percent it gives us 3.0 so it will be 3.0 times the 3.339.5 which gives us 780.275 now we proceed to the third floor we are still using the internal dimension 29.5 times 11.5 which gives us 339.5 our weighting factor it will become now this 2.3 plus 15 percent of it which gives us 2.45 now it will be 2.45 times 339.5 which gives us 831.1.16 now we go to the to the roof under the roof it's the external dimension plus the eaves we have 400 on both sides as we had seen on the plan so it's three it's 30 plus 800 because it's 400 and and 400 so it's 30 plus 0 0.8 that gives us 30.80 and then we have 12 on the width it plus 0 0.8 that gives us 394.24 the weighting factor is one so that becomes 394.24 now the total enclosure area will be the area that we had at the basement plus the area that we have on this walls both the structure and the basement wall and then in the area we had for the ground floor the floor the ground floor the first floor the second floor and the third floor the entire area that we've been finding here we sum them up we get six six thousand one hundred and eleven and point three two so that is the total enclosure area now we we had been given the unit cost of one story of meter square area square meter area to be fifteen thousand so now if one square meter is fifteen thousand what about six thousand one hundred and eleven point three two square meter how much will it cost so it will be six six thousand one hundred and eleven point three two times the fifteen thousand which gives us three Nine ninety-one six six nine eight thousand shillings. 91,669,800 and eight hundred shillings. So this is the this is the total the total area the total approximate cost that it will take for that office to be built up. Thank you guys for your time kindly if you are new here remember to subscribe share like and don't forget to leave a comment